Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Demon Slayer Season 4, Episode 5. So we've got Mitsudish training now, uh, which I've been very excited for, for obvious reasons. She's fantastic. Loved her in Season 3 in the Swordsmith Village arc. She's probably going to be teaching Tanjiro some, I don't know, what, like gymnastics or... Uh, she's very athletic. Yeah, they're definitely going to have to do some stretching. Yeah, she's very nimble. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be more like that, I think. And I feel like the Demon Slayers are probably going to enjoy her training the most. I could eat my words. That's just the vibe I get because she's so lovely, right? And then we've still got Obanai, Sanemi, and Guillaume's training left. Well, Giyu technically as well, but I don't know if he's... Is he going to teach anyone? I'm not mm -hmm. sure, but but the later stages is probably where we're going to see Zenitsu and Inosuke again, I'd imagine. I was calling for them in the last episode, but you guys did point out that they're ahead of Tanjiro in this training, yeah. right? So we have to wait until we see them again. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. This is just going to be a polite episode, isn't it? Yeah, just wholesome. <laughs> Never had it before. He's probably so excited for this training. His life is about to change forever. Yep, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, this is gonna be a fun episode. He's gonna look so cute. <laughs> he's he's loving it. <laughs> yeah, this is, is exactly what I imagined. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh no. Mortified. <laughs> I hope he warmed oh. up his hammies. Oh dear. <laughs> These little wings are going to be burning, oh, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd probably okay. rather take on a demon. I was wrong, man. <laughs> that was tough training. Oh, we're on to the next one. Okay. Okay. Aww. Oh shit. I wanted more with Mitsuri. <laughs> yeah, that was brave. Oh, he's jealous. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, they got a ship going. Yeah. Oh, it was the worst. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, this is actually so damn cute, man. Yeah, you see, he's so jealous. <laughs> he's gonna kill him! It's gonna be the worst training. <laughs> oh no. Oh! <laughs> what is going on? It's a slaughterhouse! Does the master approve of this? I think he trusts him. <laughs> Oh, they, they trained with her as well. No, oh. they just pissed him off. <laughs> I actually love him. This is not risky. 
<laughs> Making sure he's very careful. <laughs> Oh, come on. There's no mucking about here. Oh, shit. His steam is epic. He's all or nothing. There's guard down. Oh, yeah, he hesitated. Yep. Oh, God. Up there. <gasps> oh no. Gotta be done. What is it, like lemon water? Yeah. Yeah. Just normal water. I love that. Mm. This is all about precision. Oh, this is cool. Oh, yes, man. He's locked in now. Oh, this is epic, man. This is so good. Come on, man. You phonable cooking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <笑>なんでしょう。さっさと死ぬ子いた。<笑><笑> Oh, they're really <laughs> building this up. <laughs> Thought that was in Oscar for a second. Oh dear. Oh dear. Cut out for this training. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh. Shit. Then he's dead. Bless you. I don't think Tanjiro is going to be able to soften this guy up. Yeah, he's just going to piss him off by being nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Oh. No, Carly, oh. this is this is a bit much. Oh. He slapped him. Slap punch. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Now this is going to kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Got a double barrel shotgun though. <laughs> Calling him a murderer. Shit. Oh no. No, so now he's going to lose his shit. Oh. Oh, it's like Guillaume's pressure. Oh dear. I'll that's get how out he, of there. That's how oh, he gets no. his power. Oh my gosh. <gasps> he was going to blind his brother. What the hell?
What's he doing? He's just walking. The dude is just walking in a very angry manner. Yep, you're right. He snapped. How do they get past this? Oh. This might be at some sort of sick way to protect Genya. I feel so sorry for Genya because he's trying to gain his brother's approval. Yeah. That's right. He slayed. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. That name is one scary dude, man. I know. <laughs> You can take him, Tanjiro! No, he can't. Oh, no, he can't, Carly. I hate to say it. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Come on, Zen. It's time to perform. Zen's killed me in this episode, man. <laughs> Yep, nice one, Zen. Nice, Zen. You want to use Godspeed, by chance? <laughs> oh my gosh, is someone going to break this up? He's copping a scolding from the crow, man. It's going to be the worst part. Here we got a restraining order. It can only be fixed by them. That's his first failure in terms of like, you know, bringing everyone together in this arc. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. She gonna be naked in here again. What? Mitsuri. No, this is Sanemi's area. I know, right? but... Oh, this is Guillaume's training. Inosuke's there. Oh. oh! What is he doing? <laughs> Even fire is cool. <laughs> Let's go. That's next episode. Oh, wow. Okay. This is actually hilariously cute. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to try. Good to know. He's coming off really strong and needs to chill a bit. Okay. <laughs> Be cool, Obanai. Be cool. That episode went really quick because we kind of had like three trainings in one. Yes. Uh, which was very different from the first four episodes. Well, um, with only three episodes to go, yeah. I guess they had to skim past a few, and unfortunately, that just had to be Mitsuri and um, Obanai. Oh, even Sanemi, too. Yeah. Um, it was fine, though. I, I, I liked all the different scenes uh, in all their training. I thought we still got enough with each to sort of know what they're about. Yeah. I do imagine, you know, they're going to need at least an episode or, or two on Guillaume, mm. so that makes total sense that... Um, we've still got a few episodes left and it's probably reserved for Guillaume and his training because uh, he is, he's that guy, right? He's the toughest one there. Now, I don't know if the last episode is going to be like movie length and if they're going to mm. almost tease the last arc in that last episode. That's yeah. kind of what I'm hoping for. I do hope they give us something. Yeah. I, that's why I'm hoping we finish the training in maybe the seventh episode because I think there are eight total. Okay. But yeah, we'll start off with Mitsuri. Um, it was a wholesome time, but then the stretching was a bit much. That's a lot. Yeah. If you haven't warmed up, you're going to rip your tendons and whatever. That looked rough. Yeah. I, I think I went early on that one. I went the early crow on that one there and, nice. <laughs> and said that maybe it was going to be fun. No, no, I don't think so. Maybe it started off fun. It did start off fun. Yeah. Oh, but she's great. She's fantastic. She's such a likable character. Yeah. Um, and then seeing how... Ob and I is actually really into her. Yeah, and that was so cute. So jealous of Tanjiro. He was going to kill him. That's right. I wonder why Ob and I doesn't try to spend more time with Mitsuri and the, you know. Maybe he does. 
We haven't seen what they do in their downtime. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, he he seems to be just training with Sunami and and stuff like that. I think he's a little bit shy, funnily enough. Oh my god! I it killed me when I saw his uh training dojo room oh. <laughs> opened it up and it looked like a slaughterhouse. Funny as shit, oh, man. So funny. Yeah, I really liked it how his training was more focused on you know being aware of your surroundings. Yeah, and precision and yeah. and all of that. That was really cool. And I actually think. Even though Sanemi's training looked a little bit just rough uh, on the surface, I think it will teach the Demon Slayers to be able to take a hit, get back up, and keep going. Yeah. It was, like, the most brutal out of all of them. Yeah. Just, like, it was like Sanemi, you know? Like, this is what you see, this is what you get. I know that, but I also do think, like, it's actually valuable, even though it might look like it's just Sanemi taking out his frustrations. Uh, Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Because, like, the more brutal it is, the more they'll be prepared for the reality of the situation. Well, I think the more they'll be able to withstand as well. True. Now, the final training will be more training their minds. Um, Their souls. Yeah, it's going to be more spiritual. And I think that's a a good way to to sort of complete their training. Granted, he might also teach them more physical stuff too, but I think that's going to be at the heart of the training. You saw him. That was an epic shot there of him sitting <laughs> in the fire. In the fire. What a champion. I see you not scared there bossing it. Love yeah, to see it, man. Yeah, he was doing great. He loves this shit. I don't know how he breathes under the mask, but <laughs> it's okay. I just wanted to, to spend the most time in the discussion talking about the interaction between Genya and Sanemi because I think that was kind of like at the heart of the episode and the most yeah. sort of uh, the biggest talking point of the episode. Very sad. Now, I don't think it was specified in season three, or at least I can't remember. You guys are going to have to jog my memory, but I don't remember Genya ever saying that he had to eat demons in order to have that ability that he's got. Yeah, I think we were theorizing as much last season. I theorized that maybe his his mum's blood, like he consumed her blood That's like, right. or something or, or DNA. Or he was like a half demon or something. Yeah, there were a couple of theories, but I don't remember seeing that specifically he had to consume demons to sort of take on his hybrid form. Mm. Uh, we know he can survive in the sun, obviously, and so he, yeah. he's not an actual demon. He just takes on uh, certain traits. He can also regenerate his his body, but not his head. Um, so yeah, he's he's like a half demon, but I guess yeah, he's been consuming demons in order to continue to fight. And Genya's story is kind of tragic because, like, obviously we know about his backstory, and we'll get into that in a sec. But he's pretty much taking all these lengths so then he can be accepted by his brother. You know what I mean? And if anything, it's kind of pushed him further away. For now. Yeah. I feel like Sanemi's the kind of guy who's extremely emotional and irrational. But once he's had some time, I reckon he'll come around. Well, he's the ultimate Sundere. Sanemi yeah. literally is that, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm under the impression that Sanemi is so scared to lose the only sort of family he's got left. So I have brushed up on season three a little bit, but... um. In that backstory, Sanemi, Sanemi and Genya's father was a, a piece of shit, died. Mum obviously turned into a demon, killed their five other siblings, uh. and he had to kill her. So Genya's all he's got left, and now he's kind of putting his life on the line to, to be a part of the Demon Slayer corpse, right? And Sanemi probably hates the thought of Genya facing an upper rank or something. If he's not as strong as him, and he's not... So I think this it's like a really harsh, protect him. harsh way to protect his brother. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I didn't think about it like that. But it's still wrong. Like, Sanemi's in the wrong. He tried to blind his own brother there. Like, he actually was going to do that. Well, he definitely couldn't fight if he blinded him. Yeah, only Guillaume can really do that, right? <laughs> but he's different. He's different. So if he blinded him, that's it. He's, he's not going to be on the battlefield. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think, you know, those extreme lengths that he was willing to take is because he's desperate to stop his brother from fighting. Damn it. I think there's going to be some wholesome moments in, in, in maybe the last season between the two brothers. I'm, I'm very much invested in that. I feel so sorry for Genya. You could see how upset he was. Yeah, it was really heartbreaking actually to see him like that. Because you've never seen him like, when he's with Sanemi, it's like he is in little brother mode. Yeah. Um, whereas when he's by himself, obviously, he's like got to be tough and everything and put on this um, persona and act brave and everything like that well, but when you see him vulnerable with Sanemi it's yeah it's really sad yeah I agree 
that side to Sanemi that you see there and like that bullying side to Genya that you saw early on, they probably got that from their dad, you'd imagine. Because the mum was really sort of nurturing. Yeah. And you actually brought this up in one of our discussions in season three, I think. But you were saying that, that maybe Tanjiro reminds Genya of their mum and how nurturing that you said that. That was that was your thing. That's not my thing. But I like that point even more because Genya has definitely taking a taking a liking to Tanjiro and Nezko through their you know crazy battle with her mm-hmm. before I just hope that maybe they can squash their beef going into that last fight yeah I hope so before season five or the last season I I'd really like to patch things up before then I don't think it's, it's gonna happen like Sanemi lost his shit man like I think he needs to see that Genya is capable to be here and yeah, probably feel a lot better. I think that's the only way that things will get well, better between them. Like Genya took the extreme lengths to be eating demons, right? To to become stronger, to get that form, because he can't do breathing techniques, right? The, it's the, okay to be different. I know that. It, I think Sanemi just wants him to be capable, and he hasn't really seen him in action. Yeah, I I get it from Sanemi's point of view because. I don't even think Sanemi cares too much about what Genya said to him in the backstory, how he's like called him a murderer and said, you murdered our mum. I think he, he mainly just cares about Genya's strength and how he's going to fare against these upper ranks and Muzan. Yeah. And Sanemi like absolutely despises demons probably more than any of the other characters we've seen so far. Very personal for him. Very personal. So the fact that his brother can now almost turn into one disgusts Sanemi to his core because Sanemi had to kill their mum, who was a demon too. And he's got to be reminded of that. Now his brother's one. I, I, I get where Sanemi's coming from. I just think maybe he took it a bit far and Tanjiro at least was able to, to step in and protect Genya. Zen had me in stitches this episode. Actually, the fact that Inosuke was already in Gyome's training yeah. and Zen was still with Sanemi tells me that Inosuke really flourished, where Zen did not. I have a feeling that the Hashida respect Inosuke a lot. Cute. I actually do. I get that vibe. Because he's, like, he's so willing to train. That's his thing. Yeah, he wants to train. True, true. They probably love training him. Yeah, but he would have he definitely thrived in some of his training. Yeah, I think so, for sure. But Zen's... Very emotional. <laughs> yeah, but his comedy was interjected at the right time. Uh, amongst all this serious stuff going on, because it was a pretty fun episode up until that point, and yeah. then you know you've got the seriousness of the the two brothers and and their situation. But yeah, Zen was hilarious because that's exactly how he would react to this training. He was trying to play <laughs> dead, trying to get Tanjiro to save him. It was so yeah. funny. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.